What's up and good morning guys, welcome to Whitlock Garage. Today on Whitlock Garage, we're gonna be cleaning up the truck farm. Right, guys so we're out here at the truck farm as you can see we got quite a bit of bit of trucks out here we got a little bit of a mess we're gonna be moving some trucks around putting some up in the pasture uh, behind the shop where I'll show you in just a minute we've got some more trucks and parts up there tucking away the truck that we bought two weeks ago uh, from our buddy Ron we're gonna end up building that truck so we decided we're gonna put it in the back of the shop safe and dry so we can we can build it later on now this is the kind of stuff we show you on Whitlock Garage. We're united by trucks. We love the community around trucks. We love working on these trucks and, and, and building these trucks um, and, and you know discovering in them, recovering them, you know doing doing the things that that, uh, that classic trucks and hot riders love to do. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to the channel. Smash the like button, that little thumbs up button right below the, the screen there if you like what you're seeing. So if you do like what you're seeing, or even if you don't, leave us a comment down below and we'll, we'll show you some more footage here in just a minute. So we're running pretty slim on inventory, but we're up here at the parts section of the farm. Uh, this is back behind the shop that you've seen. This is a 67 long bed. It was pretty rough. It's got some visor rust up in there, but we've used it for parts and other builds. Sorry about my hand there. We got some cabs up here. actually sort of a mess but this is what happens when you're pulling them apart got a 72 cab there another assortment of parts there doors dash other wheels and tires there's a 69 GMC cab I believe it is camper an old wash sink what do you think about that an old wash sink stainless wash sink that thing is heavy this is pretty cool. We actually found this original paint short bed bed in a junkyard. Now, granted, it is rusty. Or excuse me, in a scrap yard. It's really rusty. But we decided to save it and use it, you know, maybe on some, some sort of uh, autocross truck that may look like an ugly duckling, but blow your wheels and tires off. This is a, uh, a short bed, step side bed. It's pretty rough as well. Got a good tailgate on it. Got some good parts, so we're holding on to it. And then here is a long bed chassis with original paint bed sides that we have robbed some parts off of for my build. And then I'll say this is probably one of my favorite trucks that we don't have right now. And we're not parting this truck. It does not have a motor and trans, but it will one day. This is a 73 C20 original paint original interior gosh one of the best front ends on a square body you can you can have the 73 74 grill round headlights just a super duper cool truck so this will make a great little tow rig or even a street truck um, so we'll probably end up doing something with it at some point all right so we got a couple of trucks we've probably never seen this is a 72 k10 so four-wheel drive long bed camper <laughs> all the good stuff on it this truck's a california truck hardly any rust at all definitely has tons of patina but uh this is john's truck my truck partner he uses it to uh haul parts around and really just drive and run around in it's a great really comfortable reliable truck so we're super super jacked about that that's our LS donor for one of the uh, for one of the projects we're working on. It's got a 5.3 LS in it. Of course, you've seen what we're still calling Ron's truck, even though he doesn't own it anymore. Here on the trailer, we're actually going to be moving that today, as I mentioned earlier, putting it in the garage or in the shop, and uh, saving it for a future build. And then one of my favorite trucks. 
that John owns is this. It was a 72 low mile short bed. Let me get the sun out of the way there. C30. So it's two wheel drive, dually, small block 350, no rust, really just a super duper cool truck. And one that we have hauled many of other C10 home in. It's just a really cool truck. Cab lights are probably one of my favorite things about it. And it's white. So that's hard to beat. All right guys, so what we're doing, we're here at the truck farm in the shop. We're gonna be cleaning out this bay to put that El Camino, and then we're gonna be putting Ronda, which we're now calling Ron's truck because he named it that, and that's what we're gonna be calling it. So Ronda is going there where the El Camino is. We're gonna be likely pulling the motor and trans in this blue truck, and it's gonna be going for rust repair soon. Um, so we'll either be doing that today or another day, just depending on how much we get done out there. So, Thank y'all for tuning in. There's a uh, Ron right there. Two trucks, Ron, y'all. Look him up on Instagram. Alright guys, so we're about to put Rhonda in there. We got a nice little spot cleaned out. As you can see as soon as that shadow comes away, there we go. So we'll put Rhonda right in there. We got the El Camino moved over here. We got some more help from the C10 Club boys. We got Ron as you saw earlier. Of course Rick's here. And this is going inside.
Okay, so we got Rhonda in here. Got the wheels swapped around on it. As you can see, Rhonda's looking sexy on rallies. We call her Rally Rhonda. So we got Rhonda in its place for now. On some rallies. Can't beat that. Welcome home, Rhonda. That's right. John said, this is me on my tractor. <laughs> I, I still don't know exactly how it's going to work. Keep that in the video, please. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't know how this Instagram works. Oh. <laughs> Just swipe through if it looks cool. Maybe the only thing in there, but I'll be glad. <laughs> you want to steer that thing? So, uh, Ron, what are we doing? Uh, moving rusty trucks around. Yeah, we are. So this is our 68 long bed while we're we're here it's a uh, you know decent old cab I ain't got no back window in it so I said just keep going. Rick is uh you, you would think that Rick is pushing and he is pushing a little but really how all this is working is right there so we got us a nice little little pull of the tractor Is he turning around at all? Yeah. I'm sorry if we hit the bedside. But I don't want to smash my trim up. You literally made it by half an inch. I bet. That's awesome. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. truck farm about to move the 67 with this tractor y'all stay tuned we'll show you a little footage of what we're doing it's good enough Seven pushed up by the girt the shop here. This is its good side. Really straight truck, at least on the passenger side anyway. But this truck's gonna see some really, really cool improvements in the next year. So y'all stick around and we'll show you more. But you can see we moved a lot of trucks around. We got a lot of stuff pulled out of the shop. Some is garbage. Some will go back in. But this is why we call it the truck farm. The CST will get slid over a little bit more out of the drive. We'll be in business. Give you one more little preview of 
how the shop is turning out. Like I said, this is the truck farm shop, John, my truck partner shop, El Camino, his personal 69 original paint you know, stepper. I bought them at Walmart years when they were trying to find a bunch of old ones. And then Rhonda. This is the project we bought. It's got all the cool CPP suspension mods done to it. So these guys are doing what John does best. Collect hot wheels. <laughs> and this is not the only bit of hot wheels he's got. You can find them uh, on this wall here. In these cabinets and then this this is really really cool right here so this is a 74 c10 grill 73 74 c10 grill and he's got the hot wheels and the actual egg crate some cool artwork hung up on the walls speaking of cool artwork here's a couple of posters that john picked up for ron and i ron just bought the gray 84 short bed square body that you've seen in some previous videos. And then here's the 78s that I'll be taking and putting in Whitlock Garage. This is how we do it, Whitlock Garage style, truck farm style. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll catch y'all next time on Whitlock Garage. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do that. Smash that thumbs up button below the video there. We'll bring you some more fresh, new, original content on Whitlock Garage. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button. All right, so I want to tell these two guys in particular, thank you for their help today. Um, they really gave us a big hand in getting the shop cleaned up, getting some trucks moved around. Thank you for all the help. Appreciate it. You no too. problem. Anytime. No problem guys. This is uh, Rick Cheeseman. You'll probably see him on plenty more videos as we go forward. Uh, he is Square Body C10 on Instagram, but it's S Q U S Q R B D Y C10. Um, Ron Folks, he's my homie. Always helping out on these trucks. He's the one we bought Rhonda from, right here in the back. Uh, he's Two Trucks Ron on Instagram, so be sure to go follow these two guys and even follow John, John Paget, or J Paget 3005 on Instagram. But these guys really did a lot to help us get this place straightened out, even though we might have created a larger mess than we had before. But we're. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, we're getting.